One of my students came back from the meeting in Seattle where the Charlie Foundation was beginning to organize. and It was starting the organization. There was a meeting related to the, so they came back very enthusiastic about this keto stuff all over again. And I said, well, why not? We, we had a few extra bucks. So we put these mice on the ketogenic diet and they, their seizures stopped. And, uh, but we developed the strategy for mouse work with ketogenic diets. We were very comprehensive. We measured blood sugars after a three hour fast. We did a lot of things to prove that it was the shift in the ratio of glucose to ketones. And it really didn't make any difference what the genetic background of the animal was. So, so we were noticing that it, regardless of whether this mouse may have seized for that mutation or this gene defect or that, um, it seemed to work. So I said, why isn't it more important to figure out how a general therapy might work than trying to pin down genes? Uh, and now that we've mapped so many epilepsy genes, we're still not any, any more advanced with respect to any specific targeted therapy that can stop epilepsy in general, but the keto does, it seems to do that for a significant number of people. And it, and it was very funny because we were running cancer studies and, and um, epilepsy studies simultaneously in the lab. We were, had a series of brain tumors and we had a series of epilepsy mice, and actually the, the two fields were becoming more and more overlapping in you know, molecular mechanisms. How is it possible that the keto therapy could, could, rest, could um, diminish electrical excitability in the brain? What are the mechanisms involved with that? And then we found out that it was lowering the glucose because if you didn't lower the glucose, and John Freeman told me that a long time ago. John said, listen, if you ever get a kid that really likes to take in large amounts of ketogenic diet, they invariably have no seizure control. And he says, their sugars remain high. You gotta restrict it a little bit or do something. And then we were looking at the, at the tumors and Otto Warburg said long ago that these tumors are driven by glucose. So we started lowering the glucose and we got direct relationship between the lowering the glucose and how slow the tumor would grow. So we're looking at two phenomena here, the lowering of the glucose and the elevation of the ketones. And in one case, it was managing epileptic seizures. And in the other case, it was managing the rate of tumor growth.